Just a quick disclaimer, what we're about to talk about is heavily opinion-based and with some research. We're not experts, so don't quote us on everything. Anyways, roll the new intro. Is that mayonnaise? But, uh, oh, no. Mayonnaise. I, I thought, love mayonnaise. Uh, is mayonnaise an instrument? Have you seen that uh, H3 where he's like, mayonnaise in the mouth, carrot in the butt? No, what? <laughs> <laughs> There, it's what? what got them into a lawsuit. So uh, H three H three got in a lawsuit. Yeah, and it was like a year and a half, two years of like litigation hell. Oh my where, gosh! Uh, they uh, made fun of a guy named Matt Haas, and he did those like uh, epic parkour guy videos, where like he would ha he would chase some girl, she would parkour, and he would chase her to to win her heart. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And so what, he sued them for making fun of him? Yes, he basically said it was not fair use and that they had no right to use this video even though it was transformative. So, uh, basically, he said, that's not fair use. And everybody online was like, yes it is. And he's like, no it's not. And he was working at Papa John's, but, uh, some, like, a lawyer, a law firm or a lawyer or whatever decided that he could spin it in such a way that, or at least he didn't believe that it was fair use. I don't know if he didn't, like, if he didn't think it was fair use or not. I just know that for sure he was defending the guy who said that this is not fair use. Oh, okay. And so, uh, they thought that they could win, but, uh, they didn't. And, uh, it was a big step in, uh, fair use, uh, law. Yeah, because like, it's already a gray is, area. Fair use isn't technically in law. It's a. I, I, I don't know if it's court precedent or not. So sure. like, uh, they, they set a precedent with this court. Uh, with Damn this it, court Genji. decision. I have 31 health, and that fool had more than me. Dang. Um. Please pick up that flag. There is there is ruling on fair use. I mean, there's but they're guidelines, right? They're not, they're not strict rules. They're guidelines. And, and that's what people want to keep it as, is guidelines, because if the second you make it rules, then you, you'd start having a lot of problem and you would, you would stop a lot of creative freedom if you were to put actual hard rules. So I could see where that would be a nightmare in the courtrooms, because you'd have to fight it, like, oh, this is not fair use, this is actually damaging his brand, while well, then the other lawyer would have to say, no, it is fair use, it's, you know, they use your video, but they're either critiquing it or, you know, or the opposite, where they're... They're critiquing it or they're they're changing it, so it's it's not the same thing. There's a bastion to your left. I, I'm like I'm constantly shooting at him. I got him. So uh, basically, it was a big it was a big moment in uh, in fair use, like not, I guess fair use litigation. Like uh, basically. There is a precedent that was set with this court, uh, this uh, court decision that says yes, if it's a trans, it's if it's transformative, like a commentary video, you can use their video. And so basically, it's made it a little bit safer to to do it. But at the same time, people are still uh, like copyright striking videos all the time, even though it is fair use. It like, but the problem is that people can't just go to court willy nilly, and especially if it's something like. Uh, Warner Brothers to Paramount, they're always going to uh, say that it's not fair use, and they're going to they're going to claim it no matter what. Yeah, that and and there there's no repercussion. There's no repercussion for them if they copyright something that's that's you know their fault, as in they're at fault that no, it really was fair use. YouTube has a system that pretty much almost rewards those that do copyrights because it's yeah. it's guilty until proven innocent. And so there's these actual, I don't know how familiar you are with YouTube, but for some of the bigger YouTubers, there's actually, uh, people are paying, like, third-party firms to go ahead and copyright claim videos, uh, to steal ad revenue. Yeah. Like, uh, that one girl, Alinity, she's a streamer, who, uh, PewDiePie was doing a video, and he's doing, it, the video, the concept for the video is that he has an eye tracker on his computer. Okay. And it can show on the screen exactly where he's looking at, and then he's basically playing chicken with a 
Twitch uh, booby streamers. Yeah. Who are like, so he's like, don't look at it, don't look at it, and he can't stop himself from like looking in the peripherals and stuff because you know his brain's like, what's over, what's that over there? Especially and so when then, you're... yeah, when you're online and stuff like that, and uh, the whole point of it is to not look, then you're trying to get away. Right. But uh, the thing is that he called her. Uh, he didn't even say specifically to her. It was like in the stream of like, or in the like different videos that he's looking at. Uh, she's one of them, and he says these uh these Twitch thoughts, and uh, it's just like uh, she sees the video where he says that she, where he quote unquote says that she's a Twitch thought, uh -huh. and then says, "Can we copy strike this guy?" She doesn't even know exactly what it's called. She right. doesn't know it's a copyright strike, but she's like, "Can we copy strike PewDiePie?" <laughs> and she said that she had no like actual power in the in the in the matter, like. She was just trying to put on a bravado to look like she's, you know, tough. Right. But the people who take care of that stuff for her, who uh, strike content, who use her um, her videos, then copyright strike the video that PewDiePie put out. Right. Because so, uh, Oops, it wasn't a quote unquote. It wasn't connected to her like comment about it, but they still did it. And so it then blew up in her face. The entire internet's like, no, you're dumb. You can't just say, oh, I like what he said. Therefore, I'm allowed to just, you know, copyright. Cease and desist, him. right. Well, that's, yeah. that's the problem. And that, that's what I, I'm, I'm honestly scared of YouTube is there, you, at the time, you could only get three strikes. And you still can get three strikes. But you almost had no time to, to fight it before you would, yeah. you'd get those three strikes and your channel shut down. YouTube has made some improvements where if you do get all three claims, you're able to dispute them. You have seven days before your channel officially gets taken off, where in those seven days you need to um, kind of fight the, the strikes against you. But then again, YouTube still has it heavily on the, the strikers' um, favor. So for instance, again, I don't know how much you've, you've looked into this, but for instance, if someone copyright claims a video of yours, you do get the right to dispute it. But you only are allowed, uh, I think they've changed this finally, you're only allowed, uh, uh, when I was researching this, two claims. Because if At you, time. yeah, you, you technically can do all three, but if you do two, you fight two, and all of a sudden both of them become strikes, you, you know, you still have one more. So if you copyright claim all three or, or try to dispute all three, and if all three come back, then you're, sh you know, at the time, your channel will just get taken off. But the thing is, is like I was saying, there's no repercussions for the people to do it. So if they do it to you and you fight it and then it comes in your favor, then they can turn around and do it again and do it again and do it yep. again and do it again. And so some of these firms, um, they they purposely do that. They're like, well, we can either make the videos or we'll just attack, uh, you know, a popular channel and steal their their revenue. And some of these smaller channels are afraid to dispute it because you know they're afraid they're gonna they're gonna lose. So some of the, you know these videos are being, in my my opinion, hijacked like pirates. They're just like ah, give us your money. Yeah. And the thing is that like a lot of people have been saying it, but I think it's very true. Uh, the U in YouTube doesn't really stand for much anymore. Right. Like it's not. They don't really care about the people who are uploading on YouTube. They really care about the advertisers, and they really ca care about the people who are uh, like constant watchers. And therefore, they're trying like all the YouTube Red series, like all of them except for like one or two shows. All the YouTube Red shows are uh, like the current, I guess you can say, quote unquote, season because it's a, a new like quarter or whatever. Right. Like uh, they're all celebrities. They're all like Kevin Hart and like uh, I think what was it. It's not Demi Lovato. Like, I, I, let me look it up real quick. But uh, basically, everybody who has a YouTube red show right now is a celebrity who's not an actual YouTuber. Uh, Will Smith has a vlog now, and he's being featured heavily. Right, and and the reason for that is from is because all the uh, the in, in I guess in YouTube's eyes, and I think in some some ways of the consumers, all the the other YouTubers that went to YouTube Red, they kind of just started uploading same kind of garbage but then people had to pay for it and so now when you add in that that aspect of well now you got to pay they're like well forget this this isn't as funny as it was you know if it was free and so i know youtube then made a big push to get celebrities they're like well we need this platform to do well so let's go ahead and let's try to get a bunch of of celebrities on it so i know they're pushing kevin hart really hard uh to come over and and kind of help help it out it doesn't surprise me that will smith again a very known actor um i think 
at the time almost one of the highest paid, and I think still is. Um, that would explain why he's there, right? Because he has a following. Yeah. He has that million or four million or probably closer to ten million people following from all his movies and his time and his career. So, so I, I yeah. see it from the business pa- uh, side of it, but from that concept of YouTube where, you know, it's supposed to be community-based, that's why I think YouTube would be like, well, you, you know, you have our free platforms and so just keep it there.